In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the trailer wiring harness as well as the plug that your trailer connects to on this Ford F-150. Keep in mind, if you do not have the factory tow package, your harness may not already be there. So this is a replacement video, but of course you can follow it to add this if you don't have it. On the trailer hitch, let's disconnect the wiring harness off of the trailer plug first. To do this, there's a locking tab on the back side at the top here. If you press it and wiggle this out, it should pop out. A lot of times these are full of sand and debris here because they're out in the open on the back of the truck. So if it takes a little bit of effort to work it out of here, that's normal. You can also spray rust penetrant. That'll sometimes help you out. Looks like this one came off pretty easily, so that's good. Now let's get this plug out of here because our new one comes with a plug, so we'll replace it. To do that, there are two clips, one on the top, one on the bottom. Sometimes you can pry them with your hand. Other times you might need a little pry bar. Looks like that top one just fell out, but that's how you remove this plug. If this is rusty and corroded, it'll be fairly stuck in here. It looks like ours came off nice and easy. And from underneath, you can see where the wiring harness connects to the hitch. Try to pry it out of here. Just a little plastic retainer. Perfect. Following the harness up, you can see where it connects the main harness that goes into the vehicle. That white wire on the right side is a ground and there's a 10 millimeter bolt going through it. The other one, the main connector, is just clipped on there. If you want at this point, you can lower your spare tire and get more access, but if you can reach it like this, well, just go ahead. I'm going to take this main harness out first, reach up for the uh, locking tab on the top, press it, wiggle it off. There it is. Now all we have to do is remove that ground strap, 10 millimeter bolt at the top, like I said. As I'm unthreading this, it's actually twisting the harness up there, but that's okay because it's unthreading. That's what matters. Let's try to untwist this harness so I can keep unthreading the bolt. What's happening is the eyelet that the bolt goes through is seized onto the bolt. You could either cut the wire at this point or just un unloop it every time it does a loop. There it is. There's that bolt that we are fighting. You can see the uh, bolt is completely seized to that eyelet that secures the, uh, the wiring harness. And that's why it was not coming off properly. So. Uh, Good thing we have a new one. We do, however, need to make sure the surface up there is clean so we can have a good ground. Otherwise, you're gonna have issues with your trailer lights. So here's what I have going on now. You can see it in my mirror. I have a tap going into the hole that the bolt threads into, and I'm going to try to clean up those threads. Unfortunately, I can't show you the process because once I stick my arm in there with the tap, you, I can't hold the mirror and uh, I can't position it in there. But basically, if you have a lot of rust buildup, See if you can tap the threads, clean them up, maybe sand down the surface right where the bolt attaches. That will also help. The point here is to make a good connection on the ground strap because if you don't have a good ground, none of your other accessories or lights on the trailer will work. This is where it all grounds through. Now let's get the new harness in. If you tap the threads on the, uh, on the bolt there, it should be easier to thread the, the new bolt in. I'm just gonna tighten it until it bottoms out. If you want to put a little bit of anti-seize on there, you can. Don't put too much, anti-seize is a conductor, but of course if you put too much, well, it kind of starts doing the opposite. Okay, I have this pretty much as tight as it'll get, but of course you don't want to over tighten it and break it. There we go, that's snug. Let's plug the main connector in now. On this main connector, if you want, you can put some silicone paste just to uh, ensure that it's extra waterproof. Line it up with the uh, vehicle side of the harness. There we go. Slide it in until it clicks on there. Make sure it's nice and secure. Reconnect, or re-secure, I should say, the new harness on the, uh, on the trailer hitch. Let's put the new plug in. It won't fit in any other way than the right way and make sure it's clicked in and properly secured here. It has these two clips that we had to pry on to get this out, but one at the top, one at the bottom. There we go. You heard that click. 
If you don't hear that click on both top and bottom, you can take a little prying tool, anything that you have, and there we go. Make sure you seat that locking clip in so it can actually lock on. And then don't forget to connect the connector. You can add a little bit of silicone paste if you want, but not too much and not directly to the connector pins. That'll insulate it. You want just a watertight seal with uh, no restriction on the connection. And make sure this connector clicks. And there you have it. Trailer harness and plug replaced. Now you'd hook up your trailer and test it out. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.